Hi and welcome to DevOps weekly update and this is week 4 January 2022. If you are new to this particular channel and the video, I would like to let you know that every week on Fridays, I release a video which is just 5 to 6 minutes where I discuss what happened in the world of DevOps. This will be super helpful for you if you are someone who wants to become a DevOps engineer or you are already a DevOps engineer and you can accumulate the knowledge on what is happening around the world in terms of DevOps. Before we begin, I get a lot of questions regarding DevOps career. Hence, I have set up a free 30 minutes career consultation where you can discuss anything related to DevOps roadmap. How do I become a DevOps? Or if you have specific questions around DevOps, you can discuss that. The email ID is on the screen. You can also go to the description and get the email ID. And you can always book a meeting with me and we can discuss around your requirements in this meeting. Now let us go into what happened in the world of DevOps news. The first news is a Docker desktop. Companies now have to pay. The deadline is 31st Jan 2022. If you are not aware of what has this change, after Docker was acquired, there is a change that has been made that if a company has more than 1000 employees or certain amount of revenue, then they have to pay for Docker desktop for their employees. Now, on a kind note, I would also let you know, don't panic if you have Docker desktop on your laptop, because if it is on your personal laptop and it is considered as educational purpose, you don't have to pay for this. It is still free in this case. The deadline is coming soon, 31st January 2022. If you are someone who is using Docker desktop in your company's laptop, then you should already reach out to your IT or security folks to understand how the licensing will work and get to the waiting list for the licensing as soon as possible. The second news is coming from AWS EKS. Carpenter Autoscaler support is present on AWS EKS. This is a fairly bit old news, but I would probably want to let you know that what this feature is. There are multiple uh, scaling policies, scaling methodologies in EKS or in general Kubernetes. Carpenter is one open source way that has a better scaling capacity and that is now supported in AWS EKS. Well, that's the idea of DevOps Weekly, right? If you don't know a tool, now you know it and now you can go ahead and research it. The third point, uh, the third news is, what are the pillars of DevOps? So this is a video that I have just released in the last week. If you have not watched it, please do watch where I have explained what are the pillars of DevOps? And based on the pillars of DevOps, what are the tools and technologies one should learn to become a DevOps engineer? It will be super helpful for someone who is in the early stage of their career in the IT or wants to become a DevOps engineer. The fourth news is from the startup world, people, China, uh, sorry, people Chennai based social media startup raises 10 crore in seed funding. So why am I putting this news here is because I would want you to encourage and check out these companies because this is where you can find opportunities. I would also want to stress a factor that we are still in the pandemic, but the startup growth, the involvement of companies funding into the startups and adaptation of technologies is still rapidly growing. And this is your opportunity to get into these fields, understand it and master it. So check out this company. This is a Chennai based social media platform. And also it is backed by, I think, uh, co-founders of Paytm also. But when you look into this more, I think you'll find the more details. Coming to the most favorite part of a lot of my students, companies hiring. The first company that is hiring is a senior, uh, uh, company hiring is PTC. It is hiring for a role senior Azure or AWS cloud engineer. It is in Maharashtra. The link for this job will be in the description. Uh, also, kindly make your due diligence before applying. I have no affiliation to these jobs. The second one is Cloud Trainee at Rackspace Technology Bangalore. The second job opportunity is, is very new. If you are watching this video and if you are a computer science student in your college, then this is probably the best role you can apply. That is Cloud Engineer Trainee. There are very, very, very less roles that is focusing on internship. So. I have put that also here. So do check out this role. 
The third role is coming from a company called Workshop and it is a role for DevOps engineer. This role is in Spain. And the reason I put this is it also is offering a relocation package for you and your family, including soft landing packages and settling down in Spain. Uh, if you are moving into uh, Spain from a different country. So come, uh, people who are watching this video interested to move out of their home country and want to start their career in a different country, then again, you can check out this job opportunity. All the links of this job opportunity are in the description. And that is it. What happened in the world of DevOps for this week. If you have liked the content I'm sharing, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave a comment if you want to discuss anything more related to DevOps world, and I will be happy to do so. Thank you. Meet you next week for the same news. Till then, take care and bye bye.